Welcome back, fuckers. Righto, today we're going to run through how to tune in your Tacan and use it to navigate and find, uh, you know, Tacan stations to land on an aircraft carrier, an airfield, or find an air refueler. We're going to go through that. How do you how to do that? Super easy, super simple. So let's uh, jump in the jet and uh, get it happening. All right. So when you uh, join a server if you're playing multiplayer or if you're playing a single player um, mission if the mission editor or creator has done their job properly they should have put all the details and relevant information you need into the mission briefing which you press by or you bring up by pressing left alt b all right left alt b brings up your mission briefing page and this is where you should have all of your uh the information required for the mission if the mission editor has done their job properly if it don't then Pretty much all the tack and stuff is irrelevant because you don't know what the hell anything is. So just double check mission briefing page to get all the uh, appropriate uh, tack ends and radio frequencies and all that stuff that you need. All right, so here we go. We're going to tune in first. We're going to go for the uh, the Theodore Roosevelt, which is what we're on right now. Okay, the supercarrier. We've got our radio frequency, our tack end, and then our ICLS. So we're gonna, we're focusing on tack end today. So seventy one X ray. We've gone through how to tune your radios in before. And uh, yeah, fuck it, we'll do ICLS as well. We'll do TAC and ICLS, all right? How to do both of those. So ICLS is the uh, the carrier landing uh, needles, right? Which assist when you're doing case threes. It doesn't work on a normal airfield, only on the aircraft carriers, all right? Instrument carrier landing, something, something. <laughs> Don't ask me what it stands for, but it gives you a little bit of a help, all right? So that is what we're gonna go through. So 71 X-ray and one. So really straightforward here on the uh, ufc you've got the tack and button you press that okay it brings up this we want to be in transmit receive we want to be in uh x-ray and we need 71 we're going to press enter all right so we've entered 71 x-ray and you can see now on our tack and it says blah it's got nothing there okay nothing at all because our tack and isn't turned on yet so once you've got your uh, your channel selected you need to press and hold the on off button until you get the TACAN on. All right, and then you can see we've got our TACAN details. So we are 0.1 nautical miles from the Roosevelt because we're pretty much right on top of it. So that is that. And then if we want to box that, we can bring up our TACAN on the HUD, and it's also going to give us the uh, the navigation mark to head to to find said TACAN as well. Um, so that's that's that so now just to uh let's go for or we'll aim for let's tune into the we'll go for the tarawa okay one x-ray so we're just gonna again press tack in one enter and there we go we've got our tarawa 1.1 nautical miles and bearing 356 so you can see it is pretty much right over there so if we just there she is there's tarawa so we've got our, our navigation marker on the uh, the the compass the compass tape at the top, and we've got our information to the the tarot. All right, uh, ICLS. So we're going to go back now to seventy one X ray, easy as. And now, if you want to tune in your ICLS, you're going to go hit that. We want channel one, which it's on. Press on off, so it turns on. And then all you do is just box that, and then you'll get needles. All right, you'll get needles when you get behind the ship. You'll get uh, two crosshairs that will pop up. You line the crosshairs up with your your velocity vector, and it um, guides you in to the back of the ship, nice and happy, so that you don't crash. That's uh, how you you do the ILS, right? If they've uh, allowed ILS, or they've set up ILS in the mission. Straightforward. All right, next one. So that's how to navigate to a a carrier. All right, and a land-based um, TACAN is very similar. So we're going to go ahead and select KISH, so KISH Airbase, KISH International 112 X-Ray. So again, if you want to tune into there, TACAN 112, enter. And there we go, we've got KISH International has popped up, 80.5 nautical mile. And on our HSI now, you can see this little guy. Let's turn this off. This little symbol here. That is your tack and symbol. So that is, we're facing this way. It is off to our right at 80.4 nautical miles. All right. 
that's uh, that's how you use a land TACAN. Um, and to can just to double check or to find out if a airfield does have a TACAN, not all of them do. Just click on the little blue uh, information there in the TACAN. If it's dashed out like that, it doesn't have a TACAN, obviously. And then if it does have a TACAN, it will say whatever the TACAN is. So not all airfields have a TACAN. Just keep that in mind. Um, so you're not going to be able to use TACAN to navigate to everywhere. But if it does have a TACAN, nice and easy for you. You can navigate. And lastly but not least, we're going to go through how to get yourself uh, tuned into a error refuel. Okay, so into a uh, tanker. So 18 Yankee is what we're after here. So now we're going to go TACAN. We want 18. We're going to press Enter. Yankee. And then we're going to go air to air. All right. Now, what this has done, okay, it's given us a bearing only. So 015 from us is the range or the bearing to the actual error refueler because it's in Yankee. It doesn't give you a range. So if we go 015 from us, which we are here, it's on us, 015, there is our tanker so it's pointing at it 015 now 019 okay but it's in the rough direction 60 nautical mile to our tanker that's doing its thing over there so it'll give you the bearing only when it's in yankee mode all right and it was a thing i don't know if this is how it's supposed to be but it's been set up i set up in the mission editor as error refuel as yankee 18 uh, 18 yankee air to air but if for some reason if you select x-ray let's see if it'll do it now all right, even though I set up in the mission editor as Yankee, if you select 18 X-ray air to air, it gives you the range as well, which I don't know if that's supposed to be how it's... I, I don't think it's supposed to do that because I didn't set it up as X-ray, but for some reason it still recognizes it as X-ray anyway. But there you go. There's a little um, a little extra bit of uh, help right there. 60 nautical mile, 021, and there is our tack in there. So, um, yeah, that might get patched out at some point because I'm... I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Right? It should just come up as unrecognized. But um, yeah, generally error refuelers are set in Yankee. All right, and then you just get a bearing to them. And then once you actually check in with the error refueler, they will tell you their altitude and uh, their airspeed and stuff as you're uh, navigating towards them. And then you can just yeah fly towards them, find them on a radar, and then uh, yeah, get amongst them. So that's how you do it, guys. Tack in. Make sure you box it. If your TACAN is not coming up on the HUD, and make sure the TACAN is turned on as well, and make sure you're in the appropriate mode. If you're trying to uh, get hold of a aerial refueler, make sure you're in air-to-air -air mode. Okay, if you're trying to get hold of a ground station or a carrier, make sure you are in uh, just transmit receive. Okay, just uncheck that. 71. And there we go. We've got the Roosevelt back up again. All right, so I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be like that. It should be doing that when you select um, 18 X-Ray instead of 18 Yankee for the uh, error refueler. Okay, but it doesn't do that for right now. But anyways, whatever. That's how you do it, boys. That's how you do it. Tack in. Easy as pie. Right, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you learned something. And if you did, appreciate it if you hit the like button. Uh, leave any comments you got in the description below. And yeah, thank you for being a good bunch of fuckers. If you haven't already, just hit the subscribe button. As always, uh, helps me out. We're cruising along, getting close to the 2,000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you guys for hitting the subscribe button. If you just hit the subscribe button, thank you in advance. Thank you for, for hitting that button there. And last but not least, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So if you haven't already, link's in the description below. Click on the link, hit the follow button, give us a follow there as well, and then you'll get notified when I go live on stream. You can come in, hang out, ask any questions you've got about DCS World, uh, the Hornet, any aircraft. Um, and if I don't know it, I'll tell you that I don't know it. And hopefully someone else in chat can uh, can give you a hand because, yeah, DCS is a super fun game, but it is very, very uh, difficult to get into to start with, getting your head around how everything works and stuff like that. All right, boys, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.